I love taking photos, but I rarely ever take photos of myself. Like, it's just, it's just not what I do. I mean, if you look at my Instagram, you'll uh, definitely see what I'm talking about. <laughs> but seeing that I can't really be around people right now to take photos of them, I think I have to learn how to take photos of myself. So you know, the next time a oh, global pandemic hits, I'll be prepared. So today I'm going to be doing a bunch of different photo shoots in the comfort of my own home, since I cannot leave my home. I saw two other YouTubers that I love, do this kind of video and so I'm going to be recreating one of Ava Jules' photos and one of Generation DIY's photos. Okay, so I really failed at going into depth about this at any other part of the video, so I'm just gonna put this in now. So Generation DIY posted a video encouraging others to recreate some of the photos that she took at home and one of the shoots that she did was this newspaper one, which I will try to recreate later on. And then Ava also tried out an at-home photo shoot in one of her vlogs and I felt like I could recreate it because the wallpaper in my room is also a sky. This is a totally new and very weird experience for me, so let's get started. So I'm about to start my first photo shoot. Really excited, but also I'm really nervous. Like I'm genuinely feeling nerves. Make it make sense. But for this shoot, I'm taking it in my bathroom. I'm trying to get the natural light from the window coming in. And then I'm also going to be gluing flower petals underneath my eyes, I think. Or not gluing, taping. I would use lash glue if I had some, but I don't have that. So I'm going to use tape instead. Yeah, this is very hard. <laughs> Okay, I think I found a place I like. Um, so we're gonna try over here. We're gonna see how that goes. So I am trying to go outside and do the very popular trend right now, which is where you take your pretty mirror outside and you take photos in it with like the sky in the background of the mirror. But there's no clouds right now, so I don't think it would look really cool. Like it would just be like the blue sky and I, I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough for this. Absolutely no clouds. We're going back inside. As of right now, everything feels like a fail. Every shoot has just been crushing to my already fragile ego. Hopefully when I edit things and go through them and stare at every picture for at least three hours, um, maybe I'll find something good in there. Everything just feels like it's not working out like at all how I wanted it to, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do the honey shoot now. So I'm gonna get the honey, put some paper towels down, and just hope for the best, if you know what I'm saying. This is gonna be a mess. I understand that. I want it to be really cool, like I'm fine with going through the horrible, awkward stickiness and just nastiness of this if the photos turn out good, so I'm really hoping it works out like I want it to. I wish I was photographing someone else and not me, because then I could see what I was doing and this would be a lot easier, but I can't do that right now. Okay, let's do it. tasty though, I will say that. I am very glad I'm done with that one. I think they look good, but they're also sexual looking and that's not what I'm going for. Sorry about it. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So, huh. So I just finished the honey shoot and, uh, oh honey, <laughs> it was bad. It was bad, bad, bad. Um, like, I think I like some of the photos, but they really do just look so sexual, like really bad. Do I want to post that on the internet forever? Um, not really, but also kind of, because they're kind of cool and artsy, but also maybe they're not, and I'm just really trying to make it work when in reality, it looks so bad. 
hopefully we figured that one out. I'm gonna take a chill pill for a second because I'm starting to go crazy a little bit and then I'm gonna try to do the newspaper one. Let's hope for this one. <laughs> the next day and I'm going to try to take the newspaper photo shoot. I definitely did not end up with enough newspapers to spread them out on the ground and have this really cool like depth effect with it, but I'm just gonna work with what I have and hope for the best. Yo, when I was looking at the newspapers, I noticed some like crazy things and I wanted to talk about them because that's kind of crazy. So first up, I saw this Citrus Hearing Clinic one and this woman just looked so familiar to me and I was like, I know this lady, it's like somehow, somewhere. And it turns out that I do know her. I do community theater with her. And then I thought this was funny. This is like the Publix coupon saver thing. But it says, please spoil yourself. Baby carrots, please, please. I also did not know that this meme was back, uh, back on trend. So that's fun, that's fun to know. So in the other shoots I did yesterday, I had a full face of makeup on and I was, I was looking cute. I was looking cute, right? I'm not feeling that today. I'm not gonna go put on a full face tonight. I'm just gonna work with what I have. I put on like my basic everyday makeup, which is basically just my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and some light concealer. But I'm just gonna take these photos and see how they turn out. I feel like every shoot I've said that. Oh, so let's get started. Oh, so let's do it. Oh, so let's see what happens. Like we get it. You just don't know how to transition. Sweaty. Moving on. Alright, so now I'm just gonna sit down with you guys and talk about some of the photos I did and my thoughts on them. So the first shoot I did was the flower shoot. I basically just took some petals off of my mom's birthday flowers from like a week ago and taped them to my face with clear plastic tape. So first I'm gonna show you guys the photos I took with my iPhone camera. And now here are the photos I took with my Canon camera. So I went with different vibes for some of them. I know for the iPhone photos, I used a filter I've never used before. I've had them downloaded on the Visco app for, for a while. I think it was actually for a promotion for the Wes Anderson Dogs film, if you know what I'm talking about. I never watched it. I, would, I did want to though, because I love Wes Anderson, but yeah, it's called Dog 3. I thought I wanted to add some grain into it. I recently just started getting into the grain effect this year. I really had like a deep hatred for it before that though, but now I love it. Like, I think it's so fun and it adds a really nice like texture to some photos. So when I take photos of other people and I really go ham on them, like I go into Photoshop, I go into Lightroom and I look at every single minuscule pixel and I go crazy about them. But for these, like all these photos, I didn't retouch any of them, which is really crazy for me to say because I am a huge retouch person. I really like to get down to the nitty gritty. I will go into every pore and make sure that there's no blemishes there. My makeup covered up most of everything and also the stuff that I used to be really like insecure about or I was like no one can see this online. I'm just like that's stupid or it's kind of cool. Like over the course of these photo shoots I realized I had freckles and I didn't know that. <laughs> Like, that just shows how much I, like, don't look at myself. <laughs> These two are really cool. They remind me of, like, Jessica Koblisky. I don't know her name, but she's a YouTuber and, like, a photographer. And she's awesome. I've followed her for years. And it kind of reminds me of that or, like, a magazine fashion cover. I like the depth of the arm extension added. And I like the coat I used. Jacket? I don't know. I liked that piece because it was so minimal that it just added to it in a way. So I thought that was cool. I actually really like these. They're pretty different than anything I've ever done. I really love this one. I think 
the way I put my head in this was really good. I think it's really nice. Really nice. And the flower details just really like picked up on that. Like the little swoops on them. Fire. I tried to get a little weird with the pigtails and add like another level to the character. Yo, I actually really do like the ones where I'm picking the one petal off. I think those are pretty cool. I actually got ready for my next shoot, but I kept some of the petals on just to see like what would happen. Because after I took that first photo shoot, I was I just felt like they weren't good. I felt like nothing was good after every shoot I did. So in these next few, I'm in a different outfit in a, in a different location, but I have the flower petals on. Okay, I don't love them. They're alright. They're alright. And yeah, the sky backdrop one is the one I tried to recreate from Ava Jules' video of this. And what I had was just to recreate it very simply. And then I took a sharp uh, turn away from that and did something completely different. So I got maybe two photos that were just me posing in front of the camera in front of the backdrop. And then I did some like band photos. Okay, I'll, that doesn't make sense. But I feel like these would be like a cover for a band. It kind of gives me like Claro vibes. If you know what I'm saying. These are big Claro vibes photos. I like the ones where I'm like moving my hair and there's a movement. I think it looks really cool and that the camera captured it really well. I felt like Claro in that so that was very nice. And then I brought out my mirror to again recreate Ava's photos but it just didn't work out. Like I couldn't hold it underneath me and get any good shots so I ended up holding it to my sides and I got some pretty creepy photos. <laughs> Like, this looks like a horror shoot. But I'm not complaining. I really like these, actually. I think they're creative and fun. I'm also gonna, like, substitute this shoot for the going outside to take mirror pics, like, the TikTok trend. Those are cool. Like, those are fine. But I think this is just, like, a step deeper. I love the ones where I'm, like, about to touch the mirror. I think that's so cool. It feels so film noir, but also, like, the Twilight Zone. And I love it. It's so creepy and, like, visually appealing to me, at least. I think they're pretty sick. I actually really, really like these. All right, next was the honey shoot. I have loved this idea for a photo shoot for so long, but I don't take photos of myself, so I never did it. Until yesterday. No, un until two days ago. I hated taking them in the moment. Like it sucked, like it sucked ass, and it just felt super like sexual and it wasn't meant to be that way. And after I finished shooting it and I just looked at the files on my camera, I was like, This is soft porn, y'all. And I was like, there's nothing I can do to salvage these. Like, they're just goners. There's nothing I can do to save them. But then I edited them. And now they're like some of my favorite photos. They're so cool. First, I'm going to show you the full face photos I took. I don't really love these, but I think they're fun. I'm not totally in love with those. That's not really what I'm here for. What I'm here for is the photos that focus on my mouth. Like... Like, that's me doing that. Like, I did that. Yes, these can still be seen in a sexual light, but they just don't look like that to me anymore. Maybe it's because I've stared at them for hours, but they just don't look like that anymore, so I'm not freaked out about showing that right now. Who knows? Maybe I will be later on, but I think it's really cool. I think they're awesome. I was just trying to make art and be creative, and I think I ended up succeeding. So I actually ended up being a huge fan of these photos, and I think they're so cool and artsy and... I think they're so cool. I'm really proud of myself for sticking through with it and just covering myself in honey. It was an interesting cleanup process, but I really liked the way they turned out. They're some of my favorites for sure. And then I also went outside for a quick minute in my sky background outfit and I just put one of my favorite bucket hats on. It's my only bucket hat, but I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> and I just went outside and took photos on my iPhone camera. And these are really cool. Like, I would like to use these as profile pictures because I think they're actually really nice and fun. There's only, like, three on here because a lot of my photos actually ended up getting deleted accidentally. So some of them got lost, and that's okay. I still got, like, my favorites, and so it's alright. I stood where the sun was behind me, and so the light was coming from behind. So it had this, like, heavenly glow around my silhouette. 
that ended up working well for this one. My favorite one from this little mini shoot was definitely the one in front of my chimney. There's like movement, there's motion in it. I just love the way it looks, like I thought it was so cute. I think I killed it by doing like nothing. <laughs> and then the last photo shoot I did was the newspaper one. I took all these photos on my Canon camera and I just love the color I use. The filter I used was HB1 for all of them. I used like a heavy Visionet, Visionette, that one. But I did some like interesting poses with it. It's almost like that one TikTok photography trend that was like take your mud shot, your mud shots, your mug shots. I also ended up with one photo that I didn't use, the little light I had. And it's this one. I did it in black and white. And I don't know why I love it so much, but I really do. It's just one of my favorites. I love the hand thing I'm doing. This is a pretty popular pose I've seen from like this year, maybe last year. It's like, put your hands on your head like you have a headache, you know? It just looks so symmetrical with my hands. I can't believe I did that. And it shows my little freckles. I think that's so cute. Like I didn't know I had freckles until this. <laughs> it's a little bit more grungy. I don't mean like grunge, like punk rock grunge. I mean just like, like grungy, you know what I'm saying? Before I put the petals on my face, I took a few photos on my iPhone of just me in my little like jacket. And I think they look so cool, like almost vintagey. I have a real appreciation for like the early Hollywood stars that high exposure black and white glamour shots and they look so gorgeous. I'm a big fan of that. If Future Burner can find some photos of what I'm talking about to compare these photos, um, I would appreciate that. I think they look really pretty and that's a lot for me to say considering where I've come from <laughs> with tolerating myself. <laughs> and that's all the photos I took. I'll be posting them on my Instagram at Becoming September and I've already posted all of the photos onto my Visco if you want to follow that. It's funny to me because after seeing the photos I ended up with, the two specific ones I tried to recreate which were Ava's sky background with the mirror and Generation DIY's newspaper one was that those ended up the most different from what I thought I was gonna have. I expected myself to just recreate them like very spot on but they ended up veering so different from what they did so very different takes on that but they're very much inspired by Ava and Generation DIY so you should go check out their videos. I worked really hard on this and it was a big challenge for me because I don't like taking photos of myself. Well, at least maybe I didn't. I kind of do now. It kind of showed me what I can do and what I am capable of. If you enjoyed this video in the slightest bit, please consider giving it a like. You should also consider dropping a comment saying what your favorite shoot was. And you can also hit subscribe to see more of my future content. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.